welcome to my channel what are we doing today today we're doing some practice and playing with some of the supplies that was sent to me by my boy jake over at doom slayer designs i will definitely be linking his channel in the description below go check him out and today i want to do some play i've been putting it off for about a couple of weeks now um and uh, i think it's we're not using it, we're just playing with it for right now until we get to a feel for it because I like to play with the art supplies before I really get into using it and um, I want to bring you along on that process. Okay, so just to recap, Jake sent me these which are water soluble oil pastels. He sent me a paintbrush, a number five I believe, synthetic. He sent me two watercolor markers in pink and red he sent me a gold line a5 size cartridge paper 16 sheets he also sent me this speed bald um, set here I believe these are make, made to so that you can um, cut out stamps and stamp rubbers he sent me the rubber a needable eraser or a potty eraser Pentel Graphic Gear 500 0.5 millimeter pen and a woodless colored pencil. But these ones I will not be playing with today. I don't want to tell Jake, but the making my own stamp is a little intimidating. So we're not going to be playing with these today. So we're going to set these off to a side. And um, I honestly, I don't think I will be taking this out of the packaging anytime soon. So yeah. And I have this. I, I'm simply amazed because I've always wanted a woodless graphite. So yeah. So we're not gonna be playing with those today. Today we'll be playing with the cartridge paper, the water soluble oil pastels, and these two. For my and these two here. For my pencil, I'll be using this. Colores Barabels pointer, which is their pastel line. So yeah, I have my water all set up here and a, a flat paintbrush just in case I need it, synthetic. Okay, so I've already played somewhat with the water soluble oil pastels. They have 12 colors and I swatched them out here. This is a fine liner I use the brush tip fine liner and then I swatch the white out on that so these are how they swatched out this is the yellow the darker yellow the orange the fuchsia light color the blue the light blue the green the light green the raw sienna color the burnt sienna color and the black so and the white so they're all swatched out here I did a little bit of playing with them when I did this so this paper is pre-primed with gesso. This entire book is primed with gesso, actually. So it took, it should be able to take water soluble oil pastels very easily. Um, after working with these, they remind me of these crayon sticks that I have here, that I bought here in the country of Belize very sticky kind of pasty and they're water soluble sorry my voice is leaving so that's what they remind me of and those crayon sticks works well on pre-primed paper hence why I thought and they work beautifully on this paper but I've never tried them on the paper that Jake has supplied me with and I've never swatched these out so these two is going to be a first impression for me because I haven't played with those I've had played with these already so first I'll be swatching these out in my sketchbook just to you know get a feel for them I remember my sketchbook is primed with gesso so the surface is a little non permeable just to kind of see what the colors are like 
let's pull some, some color out okay okay that looks good and then we're gonna do the pink one now good too okay now let's see how it works on this cartridge paper same thing I'm gonna just make a swatch here see if it pulls out okay we're working with something nice yeah you guys are seeing what I'm doing Okay, nice. Let's do the pink. No. I actually gave it a couple seconds to, a couple seconds, maybe 10 seconds and Okay, let's see what we're working with with the oil pastels. Oh, wait, yeah, the, the water soluble oil pastel, the yellow, the orange. Yeah, these so reminds me. They remind me of those sticks, sentry sticks. They really do, but they're much firmer than the sentry sticks color sticks that I have let's pull some color out and see how it works okay. I'm trying to leave a little bit of water in the brush so it's not a really dry brush I'm working with yeah kind of like the uh sorry for hitting the camera it's kind of like the uh gel crayons you know those ones that are sold by um produced by marabou or king art or even gelatos by faber castell it's kind of like those but i don't have gelatos so i can't say definitely gelatos but it's kind of like those yeah. okay we might have something here Okay, I'm gonna create a little black box here. This is a Sargent Art Graphic Fine Liner brush tip. My brush point has like gone. So I just kind of use it for things like these because it doesn't really have a fine point anymore. I'm gonna put this in here so I can kind of absorb in this paper a little bit. And I believe my marker is finishing because it's no longer black. It's now a very deep gray. But that's okay. Let's go back over it one more time. Okay, let that dry a little bit and while that's drying I could be playing or swatching these other color out on this paper I don't think this paper is water soluble because there is a whole lot of buckling going on where I'm swatching these out on so I don't think this is water soluble paper well, like I said, today we're playing, and that's why playing is important because it allows us to see to see how the medium takes to the substrate. Basically, it allows us to see how the paint, in this case, oil pastels and watercolor markers, take to this paper. Basically, that's what it does. So that when we do an artwork, we're not surprised by the effects of it. You know, 
You feel me? Yeah, playing is a lot. Playing is a lot of stuff. It's not just, oh, we're just watching on paper and that's it. No, we need to play. We need to, to see how all this works out. So I'm just taking a couple. Okay. This seems to be better than going directly onto the paper. Okay. This is a ceramic well I have it, plate I have here by the way. Yeah, this seems to be better than going straight onto the paper with this. Produce a whole lot more color. I know I'm secretly turning June into like I noticed lately all my videos have themes. It all started with April. The month yeah, it all started with the accidentally month of the acrylic markers. And I accidentally turned April into the month of the acrylic markers. And now I'm turning June into the month of the reviews and first impressions. <laughs> it's crazy. And it's not like I mean to do it. Well, I am doing it, but you know, these are the ideas I have right now. So yeah. So now let me see if I could do this with that. Can I scratch some stuff up here? I have a little bit of water. So I could dilute it with the brush. Yeah. What happens when I mix this with this? Ooh, nice orange. What happens when I mix this with the red? seen something okay I have swatched them out this is dry by now let's see this white and it's not that opaque if you guys have seen what I'm seeing no it is not it is really not that opaque It is not and I did some little strokes with the brush <laughs> this is all in plain guys this is all in plain you know try to see how the brush tolerates my little swatch section here kind of puts a generous amount of blue down very generous amount of blue. And add some, sorry, sorry, sorry. Some water to that. Okay. This is how they swatched out when I just put them on the palette itself. And now I'm just testing out the brush. I did a little test here just to try to test out the brush to see how much water it holds. Cause I've never worked with this brush before. Okay, bring it back to a very fine point. Bring it back out again. Out again. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we're working with here. Yeah. That looks good. Synthetic. Does it return back to a point? What do you think? It turns back to a point. Put a little bit more water there because I'm trying to dissolve some of those clumps that are in there. Okay. Let's see if we can... I can't draw a rose to save my life. Mm. But I try. 
I honestly try. Can't do it to save my life, but I honestly try. It leaves like a residue behind. It's not really clean. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. It's kind of dark in some of these edges here. I can't draw a rose to save my life, guys. Not even to save it. So let me show you what I mean. Look up. Okay, you're seeing here where this pool is. Let me give you a little bit more light. Hey guys, you see where this pooling is here? Yeah, you can even see it to some extent in here and in here. This is where I first noticed it. Like this residue kind of thing going on that this leaves behind on this paper. So, yeah. Again, can't draw a rose to save my life. So I don't think, oh, she's such a good watercolorist. No, she's not. Because <laughs> this is not really my art style. My art style is more a little bit more cartoony. It's somebody's art style, but it definitely ain't mine. <laughs> okay, I just want to put a little bit of darker color here, just to kind of make a little distinction. I just mix a little bit of the green with some of the blue. This. Okay. Yeah. Just to kind of pop this a little bit. Draw something to save it. Okay, I tried. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to do some color mixing to see how these mix dry. So I'm just gonna go right here. I'm gonna go in with some yellow. And I'm gonna add a little bit of red. Should be able to mix quite well because they're real soft look at that I think I did it before when I did that piece so I know they should be able to do it quite well a little bit of yellow I'm gonna use a dark blue this time oh gosh back over that with some yellows yeah I was using some tissue to clean off the tip of it because I notice when I do that it tends to stain the tip see so yeah I think I'll go back underneath here with some red and join it with some blue in the middle. Join it with some red here. 
Let me bring you guys back up to show you what I'm doing. I'm almost finished with my playing session, believe it or not. What I'm doing is adding some water to see what I'm working with, just on the edge. Yeah. So, what do you think? I think I'm finished with my playing session. I'm, I understand these a bit. You know? Really do. I've tested these out. I understand them a bit. The one thing I didn't test was whether or not this graphite was water soluble. I think I should. So we're just gonna put a little bit down here. Since we're testing out stuff. And put a bit of concentration on this side here. Pull it out with a brush. Ah, uh, I will say so. Interesting. See what I'm doing is I, I mix my brush as already with the graphite in the paint in this paint to see if it's going to give me any color distortion. Can I test it out? Test it out. It's a little water soluble. Okay, that's interesting. That's very interesting. And I could scratch it out on the paper and then add a little bit of paint to it. That's very interesting. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this journey, playing with these paints. Um, I'm going to be using these paints pretty soon. Um, this medium, sorry, not these paints, but this medium pretty soon. Let me show you how my tissue look after cleaning up those brushes. It does leave a lot of crumbs behind as you can see on my fingers so it is quite messy and um, I'm, I'm gonna see you guys real soon I'm so excited I already have an idea of what I want to do with these and how I'm gonna work with this entire haul that Jake has sent to me I think I'm gonna do it in pieces I'm not gonna do all this in one big piece or maybe I would I will challenge myself to do that or maybe I'll just do um, it's in section use the oil pastels and then use these markers and then use the um, the stamps create the stamps so guys I don't want to use the stamps to play with the stamps because I don't want to make a mistake and I don't have a lot of rubber so yeah that's my biggest thing here I don't have a lot of rubber so yeah but I'll, I'll try I'll try and uh, thank you guys so much again for joining me on this journey. And as always, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.